everyone. It's Zadira, and behind this fuzzy animal is Abby. There's Abby up there on the llama. Tell us all about this Hello. llama, Abby. <laughs> all right, so... I didn't know um, Ark had llamas, did you? <laughs> no, but it is not a llama that I just tamed out of the ordinary. It is a... So, it's a deer. A megaloceros, um, right? It's a megaloceros. Yeah. That, so I tamed the Megaloceros, and where did I get the saddle from, Gary? You got it out of the Inca Armory and Food Crafting Table. Yep, so yeah. I I just put the saddle on it, and it just, poof, became a llama. Yeah. It was super <laughs> cool. Yeah, so fun. So the moral of the story is, Check out all of Eco's mods because you never know what you're going to find. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew there was llamas in Ark, right? I know, right? Okay, so let's get to work, Abby. We have a lot to share with our friends uh, after you went offline last and night. there goes the sun. No, that's okay. We can do gamma if we need to. Look at the house so far, Abby. I used the I Castle Keeps and Forts mod. And it's the Castle Keeps and Forts Remastered. This is the Villager Tier. The Villager Tier is like using stone. So what we did was we built most of it with wood. And then as we learned how to do stone, let's gamma up just a bit. As we learned how to do stone, we replaced it. So we have a little bit of normal arc wood here for the porch. But then you go in and um, there's Take a nice... Take off your shoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take off your shoes. Do I have to take off my shoes every time I come in the house? Yep. So Abby has started. Uh, let's see here. Let's. T oh no, that's my gloves. There's my shoes. Abby has started already decorating, and uh, we've done a little bit. We we kept our uh, uh, big. This is our working area. Work. What do you call it? A work. Oh, you expanded it. A work room. Yeah, our work, we have a big workroom. We don't want it in our living room. So we decided to put the workroom back here, kind of out of the way. And mm -hmm. we've already got our AA vaults set up so that when we get really busy and we come in and throw stuff down, when we are able to craft one, a vacuum, it'll pick all the stuff up. We might have to go over how that works when we get some more stuff and get everything set up. We don't. We are not up level enough for a lot of things yet so we're kind of going slowly on leveling we don't have a generator or any of that stuff yet so uh but we do have a little bit of decoration we've got this big living area kitchen area then you go upstairs up here and this is going to be our bedrooms and then we have two nice nice decks or we can come i got my bed right here Ooh, awesome good job uh, we can come out here and look over the land and make sure there's no danger before we leave the house. And then we also, have, we've used, utilized the roof of the workshop so that we can build a nice outdoor deck. Isn't this, we can have a grill out here and a picnic table. Won't that be fun? And we can come out here and safely, as I say that, as long as we don't get any more of those poison griffins that we had around here, we can have us a nice picnic out here. All right, so Abby, also, after we left last time, Abby and I worked hard, and we were able to tame a thyla. Now, this is an eternal uh, lightning thyla, and if you notice, we actually have two. So it was the coolest thing because... Can I tell? Can I tell? Yeah, Abby, you go ahead and tell. All right, so, um, what, so I tamed this one by mm -hmm. myself, well, yeah. with Grammy's help. Yeah, we I made some eternal arrows didn't we and we kept yes. dying and kept dying but there's kept these dying, yeah. I kept dying so and then right when i get in tonight i see that one yeah well, it might be the morning when you see this but yeah it's night for us yeah right when i come in tonight i see this one <laughs> so grammy tells me the story tells me the story yeah out so, of the blue, the thyla. Out of the blue. Yeah. And that's kind of funny because the thyla's blue. <laughs> yeah, that is true. That's true. That's very funny. It ended up coming up near the base, so I got got busy and went and tamed it. And 
it was really crazy because I actually was worried that it, that it was going to cause a battle and come kill all my house and destroy my house. So I actually took Abby's Thyla with me and I kind of uh, directed it to attack and it attacked for like one second and then it, all of a sudden it stopped attacking and they were just standing there staring at each other. It was the weirdest thing. I should have filmed that, shouldn't I, Abby? Yeah. Yeah, and so then I went and got my bolo and started boloing. They just stood there and stared at each other. They didn't attack. They didn't attack me. And anyway, long story short, I got, we have two thylas now. <laughs> Pick your shoes up. Oh, I, I have to go put my shoes on. I dropped them in front of you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> So, the great thing is we have two thylas. The bad news is we aren't high enough level to make saddles yet. So, as soon as we're able to make saddles, Abby and I will be going on lots of adventures. Right, Abby? And also, yes. And also, hold on. Let me get it. This over here is the the crafting table she was talking about. It's, it's called an Inca. We're going to actually pick this up, Abby. I was waiting till. Abby fell asleep on the bed in here last night. I was waiting until she woke up so we could pick this up and get it out of the way. This was our kind of safe haven. It's easy to craft this. Is and he goes, no, no. What? What? I lost my bird. I lost, oh my, I died by that, um, what? That poison griffin and I, and my bird was in my inventory. Your bird? Yeah, my RG. I was going to show them. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think so, Abby. Because, or was it on your shoulder? It was in my inventory. Because we don't have we don't have the soul balls yet. So yes, are, we do. I oh, made we a those pickup balls. You did. Oh. oh. Well, that's a bummer. Well, gosh, because we talked about in the last one that you were going to go over tame, and, and I'd forgotten that you had actually done that. So much has happened, hasn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. So anyway, we were talking about the Inca, and we're going to be removing that. But that, if you want to very, very right off this bat, when you start ARC, it would, that's a wonderful way to have a safe haven to get away from things. So that works out really, really well. And, and if you come look in it, there's mm -hmm. a, and so if you go to armory and you see the um, saddles, I mm -hmm. use the elemental Inca Empress Llama saddle. Empire's Llama saddle crafting. All it takes is a little bit of fiber, hide, and some metal ingots, and you have yourself your own, very own Llama. llama. So what is the other? Oh, that's another llama that's saddle. A, I bet it's a better um, one. Oh, maybe. Oh, I'll bet you're right. Immortal. <gasps> Immortal? Oh, my goodness. So I bet it gives better. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. It gives better armor. If you look, mm -hmm. the first one gives 25 armor, and the second one gives 62. So that is better armor. So we might have to upgrade... To, look, you have to use a vertebrae. Isn't that interesting? A so, vertebrae? Yeah, from yeah. A, like a, a Bronto. Gives those sauropod vertebrae. You have to have six of those. My goodness, that you'd think that'd be a really good saddle, huh? This is also yeah. where we got our hats. I think we're wearing the... Which one are we wearing? The elemental... I'm not wearing mine. I'll make it. Oh, you're not? The Inca warrior skin, maybe? or. And I'm wearing the village. We're doing the Emperor. That's what it is. We're wearing the Emperor. And then also Abby made some uh, banners, I think. I don't see the banners. Um, oh, no. I made them in here. You made them in a different place. Mm -hmm. There's a shield. This is just really fun. It's just beautiful. Let's do a little walkthrough in this to one, show in people. This Isn't this awesome? These beds don't really match, but like I said, this was our temporary place of haven. And, but it's so cool. Look at this. This is all part of the crafting. Isn't that amazing? It has a fire. We, we were we were sad because you can't cook in the fire, but I don't guess that is possible for making the mod, I guess. I don't know. And then uh, this, it's kind of creepy, this table over here. But none of this does anything except you can click on the armory itself. 
And then what, there was another folder. Let's make sure. The food decor. So you can actually uh, craft plates and pictures, food storage, all kinds of things. So we'll be making those items and we'll be decorating our house. We can show you guys that another time. So, so what do you think we should do? Well, I wanted to go ahead and show what else we had built last night. I was trying to get a little bit done so we could go on some adventuring. Um, so I did go ahead and start the garden. We have a long ways to go because we're going to need lots of crystal to make the glass. And uh, another thing that we like doing for our... Oh, I thought, why is that mushroom growing in our... In, <laughs> we'll have to take that outdoors. I think it's going to stick through the roof. We have a... On this server, we have a seed barrel. It's called a HG Seed Crafter. Let me show that. Can you talk about that a little bit, Abby? Um, yeah, I, well, I I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it. It's got aberration seeds. So you can see you can make gem seeds, all the kinds of mushrooms, all it's the mushrooms. It's because I haven't learned any seeds, so I don't know any. Yeah, and you haven't played aberration or uh, any of the other DLCs either, so you wouldn't know about these. But here's even red blue you can make blue crystallized sap you can make all oh. kinds of things there's scorched earth here's the scorched earth seeds um, this makes a uh, cactus seed and you have to have items to make them so it's not completely op because you have to have sap to make sap you have to have pearls to make the pearls I went out and killed a little bit of the uh, Trilobites last night and got some black pearls so we could make some black pearl seeds. But you can see how cool it is to be able to make these things and put them in your garden. I was trying um, some I of them out. I want to show them my secret surprise. Oh boy. Let's finish talking about the garden real quick okay, and sorry. that'll be awesome. But this is a plant species Y seed and then we have crystal, we have blue pearls. We'll definitely plant one of these mushroom trees I think I don't sure we don't might not need it since we live in mushroom land but I wanted to see what they look like and we found on different maps plants look different and um, I'm not sure it could possibly be they haven't grown up because we don't have our greenhouse effect if you notice greenhouse effect 0.0, .0. So they may be taking an extra long time to grow because they're not finished growing yet, which is really amazing because it's been a long, several, several, several hours. So I'm not sure, but we will be getting glass around. We use we like to use the Eco's uh, stained glass, and that gives us 300%. So this is going to be a beautiful greenhouse once we're finished. But like I say, we just started on the map, and... Uh, we haven't leveled up to be able to do everything yet. All right, Abby, do you said you had a secret surprise? Yep, follow me. Ooh. <coughs> I'm gonna go on brownie. Okay. <laughs> the interesting thing about brownie was we were thought being a megaloceros under the skin, she would be able to get, uh, or he would be able to get thatch. But... It doesn't fight, attack, or it do anything. Do anything. Now, is this a was this a male megaloceros, Abby? Was that um, did it have the big horns? It's a female. Oh, it is. That's why I thought it was a a, a male. The female doesn't do anything, so that's oh. they are they do run fast though. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. I picked up some of your things, Abby, because oh. um, what I thought we would do is move your uh, fishing dock over once we remove the Inca, Inca thing. Because then it'll be closer okay. to the house and we Abby built this amazing fishing dock. I was so excited. What do you think? Sounds good. Yeah. So we can build a dock closer to the house that way we can go fishing much easier. Because we, uh, once we move the Inca crafting table. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh dear. Oh my goodness. You okay? <laughs> Do you want to... Uh, okay, so those aren't S+, are they? Yeah, that's why. No worries. 
we actually have quite a few structures in the structure box. So that's an update. That's our update for, for how what we've done. See, I think if you want to build your dock over here, I thought that was yeah. so fun that, that Abby thought of that all by herself to build a fishing dock. But you could build your fishing dock here, and that way it's much closer to the house, and we can just come out and go fishing. And uh, I don't think you've been fishing, have you? I can't wait to show you nope. how to go fishing. That's It's really fun. And you so know what's what? the adventure you're thinking of? Oh, well, um, uh, I don't, I, well, what we need is we need some, um, we need some, oh gosh, I, my brain went blank, Abby. It's uh, organic, oh, organic polymer. We need some orga okay. organic polymer. We need crystal. We need obsidian. Um, we need to make electronics, but we can't because we aren't high enough level for the smithicator top, which makes the electronics. So see, we need lots of things. So what do you think? This sounds good. Which one do you think we should go do? On the map, on the volcano map, there are flowers that give organic polymer. And they're, they're, they, they kind of grow all over the map, but they're kind of sporadic. So you kind of have to know where they grow. And then we have crystal and obsidian across the way. So we need some of that. We, got, we did a couple of trips over there, or one, and got some. But we're not getting much with our pick and hatchet yet. What we need to do is, like that green light, we should go over there and get that green light real quick, Abby. How about that for an idea? Okay. Are you making something or? Yeah, um, I'm trying to. I don't have anything in my inventory, so I'm making my tools. Oh, okay. Awesome. What tools are you making? The things I need. Okay, we have a bunch in. I wonder if your stuff is in. I don't think your bird is, but there's definitely a lot of things in there in this in this uh, chest. If you come look, okay. there is armor, weapons, tools, structures, skins and costumes, all kinds of stuff in here in this in these chests. So when you use automated arc, uh, what you do is you put down a vacuum. The vacuum, it, as you drop anything out of your inventory, the vacuum will pick it up and then you have this item called a console, and the console will take it, distribute it to your vaults if you have the vaults set up correctly. Like I say, we are not able to make it work yet because we don't have a, a generator. So as soon as we get high enough level to get a generator, we can have it set up. And every, all these will, if you drop obsidian element and charcoal on the floor, it picks it up automatically and puts it away for you. I love that, don't you, Abby? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it helps so much. This is our, this is the Elem Eternal workbench. Let me show you that while Abby's getting ready. It has uh, all kinds of stuff in here. You can make armor. It says a glider so far. That's the only thing we've learned. And then um, what I'm excited about is these weapons. Look at these, um, look at these, they're, they're called crystal picks, and look at, it takes a lot, 100 metal ingots to make one, but it says eternal crystal pickaxe, harvest four times the resources and do 40% more damage. Wow, I cannot wait to do that. And then there's also a hatchet, and there's also a crystal sword, 40% more damage four times the resources. Oh my word, that's going to be so helpful. And you can see we've already uh, received several crystals just from doing different little things. Sometimes, sometimes you get crystal for when animals kill other animals. You can be out if you're out walking around in the forest. All of a sudden, you'll get crystals in your inventory. So that, that's kind of fun. But you can see they're expensive. It's uh, this like this takes five of each color of the crystals. So these tools are extremely expensive, but if we do a lot of work, I think the, we'll get plenty of stuff, don't you? 
consumables are really good too and we're I haven't I can can't show you many because I haven't learned many yet because we're just not high enough level but as soon as we get higher level and learn more we'll be able to show the different things look at the detail work on the Ark Eternal workbench isn't that awesome gosh that's so cool they really put a lot of thought into it so where'd you go at oh you're over here are you about ready to go? Yeah, hold on. I'll show them this workbench. This is the villager table. And you can see all the structures are in here. You do have to learn them in your inventory, but once you learn them, uh, they have accents, pieces that you can use. Here's all the different walls. You have all kinds of different doors with windows on the side. Double windows. Oh my goodness, we've got a lot of work. We need a lot of crystal. Because if you notice, we don't have any windows in our windows. It takes a lot of glass. The, the windows are just beautiful. It takes a lot of glass and a lot of metal to make the windows. So we've got, we have got so much work to do. I know. Right? All right, I am ready. All right. I think, what, what about if we close this episode off real quick? And then we can start episode four with the with our cool adventure, and that way we can take plenty of time. Otherwise, we might have to cut it short. So, what do you say? Uh, Let's do that. All right, we click the button and subscribe and all, right? So make sure to subscribe, like, and hit the bell, and make sure to hit the bell to get notified when we post new videos. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye. See you oh, later. And what? And what? remember, if you like this video, hit a thumbs up. Ooh, that's good advice. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.